Just turned 30, why well, be mad? <laughs> Speaking on turning 30, you told me during pregame that a great way to celebrate would be clinching the sixth seed tonight. Um, how did you guys celebrate in that locker room? And just what does it mean to officially clinch? Um, we didn't we didn't celebrate in the locker room for real. We just kind of, you know, acknowledged the feet, the feet, sorry. Um, and just uh, understand there's more to go. Um, I don't know what everybody's doing tonight. Have a nice bottle of wine, folks. Um, for what this group has gone through this season and all the newness, what does it say about the resolve and resili r resiliency and how you guys have come together to check off a goal that you guys set out on? Um, I think it speaks to the character of the group, um, the maturity, and just uh, the selflessness. I think everybody came in here and just tried to figure out what their job was going to be and execute it to the best of their ability and uh, push forward. Said a couple of days ago, you know that the 18-19 team, you know, had made the 60. This is a completely yeah. different deal. I guess what's different about that to you? We're more established. I think um, when I was a young team trying to find their way, um, we have a lot of guys who kind of understand who we are in the NBA already, and we're trying to find our way as a unit. That one was more so. We had a lot of guys trying to find their way just as individuals in the league. Now we had great vibes, a bunch of great character guys, um, and it wasn't selfishness, but we still just kind of were wide-eyed and, and didn't necessarily know. You know, you got guys on this team that went to the finals, conference finals, things of that nature, have experience um, and having uh, appropriate respect for Philly, obviously, but, you know, there's no, like, fear or anything. Right. Even Jock was kind of saying you guys did it a little differently some of the teams even below you in the in the play and have that superstar kind of guy and you guys don't that um you know people say you need that in the playoffs do, do you feel that way uh, i'm not gonna lie to you reputation does matter um you know and so I, i've spoke about this a lot right that last six minute stretch um you know things on the margin like bang bang calls things like that like we're not going to get them um but at the same time reputations are typically made in the playoffs right so you know Mikel keeps playing it at the level he is uh he'll uh be considered a star at the end of this thing um especially if we can you know advance or, or do anything special so i think we've got a guy that you know has the capability to to play at that level and then you know you've got one damn good looking point guard too uh, two quick ones for you. One, when the announcer says that you guys clinched the, the mm -hmm. sixth seed before the game is even over, just what goes through your head at that moment? Oh, listen, bro. I knew the score of the Heat game. It was right there. Right I, don't know if, I don't know if you noticed. When it hit about up 15, 17 with three minutes to go, my level of intensity dropped a little bit. That's why JV was mad at me. But I was like, bro, I told him, I was like, man, hey, smile, dude. Like, you a nice guy. Like, come on, man. And second, you, you touched on the 18-19 team. Is there a difference in feeling or emotion clinching the playoff spot at that point in time than there is right now? Yeah, I think, um, you know, we were more excited. I think this one was more measured. Like I said, we have guys that have experienced not just individual success, but playoff success as well. Um, at that point in time, we, we didn't really have guys that, that had, you know, I mean, again, the, the Phoenix guys went to the finals, you know, and, and then me and Doe were playing in the conference finals against the eventual champion. So, like, we, we played at a higher level of basketball than the first round, you know what I'm saying, last year. Now, again, we have to come together, new system, new city, all that other stuff. So it's not going to be an easy task by any stretch. And they have, you know, the probable MVP. So, again, like I said, there's an appropriate respect. Um, give Philly their credit. But at the same time, we do feel like, you know, we, we, we belong in that arena.